let's start with your reading scorpio today we are going to look into your current situation we're going to look into your energy your person's energy or external energy and then we're going to take a look at what's coming towards you next that you might not know about yet now let's start with your first message okay the first message for you today that you should hear about or someone around you should be about says don't let pride get in your way you know there is something right here that you are getting used to scorpio but that instead you should shake off you should get rid of you're starting to get comfortable with people walking out of your life disappointing you letting you down to the point where maybe you're not even fighting anymore as soon as you see something on those lines coming from any source from anyone also the people you really care about you immediately become a little numb and you feel that you should just let go of them without fighting anymore you just feel that you shouldn't beg anyone to stay to be with you to fight for you and potentially right here you're holding on to your pride even when it hurts even when instead you would want to get out of your way to maybe make things work but at this point of your life you feel that that phase is over and that you shouldn't do that anymore so as you see right here a very important message that we need to look into so let's start with your reading and let's see what this is going to be about Okay. All right. The main energy for the reading is judgment. And what I see right here is exactly what we were just talking about. You understanding that there are things that you shouldn't do anymore. There are things that you shouldn't allow anymore. Things that you wanted to change in your behavior, such as chasing people or trying to make something work that you already know is not going to work so that you're not going to find yourself in the same position over and over again. You're making adjustments. You're letting go of toxic situations and toxic people so that you can make room instead for what is really important to you. Now, in the center of the reading, the energy for the situation today is the Empress. And right now, you are really trying to fall in love with yourself once again scorpio you might have actually been going through a lot and a lot of the things that you have been going through might have uh, impacted the way you've seen yourself the way you dream and the things that you expect from life from people right here what i see is that lately every time you have been thinking about real happiness it's always been in black and white. It's always been something that now is only in the past. You seem to be struggling making new memories, new happy times. And sometimes you're afraid that from here on out, nothing will ever be able to surprise you and make you excited, to make you feel confident and happy about where you are in the world and in your life. But obviously, there is a lot coming that you don't know about, which I do believe is going to change your mind around this subject. As far as you go, your energy is the queen of pentacles. And clearly, right now, what you want to do is being very practical about things. You are focusing on the everyday things, on the routine. When it comes to... <clears throat> building a vision for the future or dreaming about something, even if someone comes into your life with excitement and with promise, you're being very practical about it. And you're not letting yourself dream. You're not letting yourself go there because potentially you feel that eventually it's always going to take you to a place where you end up disappointed, just like it happened in the past. 
Listen, I cannot help but feeling that right here, there is this spiral of negative thoughts, negative beliefs. I'm not good enough. I'm too old. I'm too of this. I'm too of that. But obviously, right here, this is just the result of everything that you've gone through recently or in the past few years. And right now, you just got to the moment in which you want to learn from it. You want to change things because you decide to change them, not because someone else finally comes in and changes them for you. Now, what I see on the other side, your person's energy or external energy, I mean, this is that excitement that it is going to come in if it hasn't already. The Page of Wands is talking about someone who maybe is quickly falling in love with you, someone who is feeling that passion whenever they think about you. This is some sort of good news coming in and is potentially something that you wanted to happen at some point in time, but that it didn't back then. Right now, it happens. It comes in. Good news. Passion. But what you do, as we were saying earlier, is being very practical about this. You might be thinking, nah, this is, this is not what I think it can be. I've seen it happening before. They all come in with all this promise and then they leave as if nothing ever happened. So I definitely want to clarify this energy to see more about this incoming event, message potentially, and in order to see if maybe you're right about this or if maybe you're wrong. Now, the challenge, three of wands, go for it. What I see right here is that there is definitely a lot happening inside of you, which is controlling the things happening around you, Scorpio. And don't get me wrong, I don't want to blame you for uh, the negative things that might have happened in your life. But with judgment, we need to understand what we are accountable for, because that's the only way to get out of that heavy energy that always makes us end up in a place where we don't have what we want. With this card, I definitely see a clear message, a message that says the best thing that you can do is learning how to manage your emotions, Scorpio. Feelings are like waves. We cannot stop them from coming, but we can choose which one to surf. And it's very important for you to be very wise when you decide which wave to surf, which emotions to give your attention to, your focus to. Because if you focus on the, ne on the negative ones and all the things that haven't worked out, guess what you will have more of? You will have more of that energy. And again, it's not your fault, Scorpio. I'm not blaming you and you shouldn't blame yourself. But we need to understand wh what we can improve in order to make things better quicker, okay? Someone in the past really disappointed you. Oh my God, this is clearly something you were not expecting from someone who you cared about a lot. And I see that this person has blamed you for a lot of things. But the real reason why they blamed you is because you were not putting up with their BS, you know? You were not putting up with their behavior. And in a way here, you say, you're thinking, don't say that I didn't try because I tried more than I've ever tried before with anyone. But at this point, I just do not, do not want to try anymore. I let my pride get the best of me. And you know what? It's fine. I'm fine with it. I would rather protect myself instead of keep wasting time for someone who, you know what, does not deserve me now in the present and not even tomorrow in the future. Now, why is this message coming up now? I mean, it's good to have some advice. It's good to have some clarity potentially on things that you maybe were not focusing on or you were not taking consideration, but there is much more to this. Coming your way, you don't know it, the chariot. This is a very powerful energy, very powerful major arcana here. And we see something coming in which will really raise your endorphins. This is a honeymoon phase, something that will make you overcome your past, especially the difficult times. You know, the chariot overall talks about success, achieving something big, and also someone who comes in not willing to take no for an answer, you know, someone who's going to fight for you potentially and who is going to do whatever it takes 
in order to make this happen. But what is this? What is this about? Who is this person? I do believe that this energy connects very much to the page of wands, external energy, the other person's energy. But I do also get the sense that this is blocked right now. It's there, it's accessible, it's a potential, but it's not manifesting yet. And before manifesting that with the Empress at the center of the reading and judgment over there, it seems as though you need to start loving yourself more, Scorpio. The opportunity for this to come in and to really surprise you, it's still there, but it won't happen until this happens. It's very important for you to understand that happiness is not just a past tense. It's not something that has happened in the past and it's never going to happen again. Because if you do believe that and you do believe that maybe you're not good enough anymore at this point of your life, then this is going to be blocked forever. But if you learn that and if you follow the advice, what is this going to be? Let's find out. First of all, I want to keep looking into this chariot energy and this page of wands in order to identify this external energy, what it brings to you, and if there are any challenges, obstacles, things you should know about right now before it's too late. Let's see how it's bound to evolve in the next few months, where it's going to take you a year from now. And then let's see what else is coming up for you next that you should absolutely know about today if you want to dive deeper into the messages with me scorpio just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box also don't forget that every single week i randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100 percent free personal live 45 minute reading I send out emails every Monday morning to confirm. Please make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Scorpio. I am so excited about your bridging energy, which today for you is the world, the energy that will take us from this current situation to the incoming events. Now, the reason why I'm excited about this card is because this talks about a 360 degree success, dreams coming true, something coming into your life, which is really going to make you feel complete, loved in a way that you've never felt before. It's so interesting because when it comes to you, especially right now, when you think about happiness and things that you are really proud of experiences that can really make you feel that excitement the excitement to be alive that's always in the past the black and white memories that we were talking about but what you don't know is that the happiest days in your life are just ahead of you and this is the confirmation of that there have been issues but the world resolves the issue gives you closure gives you understanding and overall a new start potentially traveling, traveling to a place you've always wanted to go to, uh, whether it's geographical or emotional, and it's all happening because of this incoming energy, which maybe you have the temptation to, to ignore, to put aside, to block, but you definitely shouldn't at this moment in time. Obviously, with the Nine of Wands, you are very guarded, and for a good reason, but is it still worth it to be that way? Is now this protecting you or hindering you and blocking you from happiness in the future? Let's find out. First of all, let's clarify the Page of Wands and the Chariot to understand what's actually coming in for you next. Oh my God, okay. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. I see why you're blocking this, Scorpio. I'm not blaming you, but there is much more you should know about this that you don't know about yet. First of all, what we see. 